Hello friends, welcome back to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will study how the string is accepted by NFA. A string is accepted by NFA if we apply that string to its initial state, then whatever set of states we get as output and that set contain at least one final state, right? Then that string will be accepted by the NFA. Here we are provided by this uh, provided with this NFA whose initial state is Q0 and final state is Q0. Now we have two strings 101 and 100. We have to check whether these strings are accepted or not. So first of all we will apply this string to initial state. First we test 101. For this, we will use extended transition function, right? So the current state is Q0 and first input symbol is 1, right? So when machine reads 1 and its current state is Q0, see the transition, what would be the transition? After reading the input symbol 1, machine will remain in a state Q0. Right? So when it reads once, it will remain in a state Q0. And from Q0, it will read the input symbol 0, which is the second symbol of the string. Here it has two choices, either it can jump to Q1 or remain in a state Q0. So when it reads 0, we will get output a set of two states, Q0 and Q1. Now we have a set of two states. Now it will read input symbol 1 which is the third symbol. So in previous tutorial I have told you a rule for calculating the transition for a set of states. What we have to do here apply this input symbol to each state of the set individually and then take the union apply first uh, 1 to q0 and then to q1 and take the union of both when you will apply 1 to q0 the output would be q0 and when you apply 1 to q1 the output would be a set q1 and q2 because here you can see when the machine is in a state q1 and we apply 1 we have two options machine can either go in a state q1 or it could remain in a state q2 right so when we take the union of both the result would be q0 q1 and q2 right so when we applied 101 to initial state we got this result now this set contains a final state Q2, right? So this string would be accepted by this NFA. Now we have to check this second string 100. Again, for this, we will use extended transition function, right? Current state is Q0, and we have to apply this string to initial state Q. 0 1 0 0 right now we have to check the its output if its output contains its output would obviously would be a set of state and if it contains at least one final state then this string 1 0 0 would be accepted by this NFA so first of all find the transition for 1 when it reads 1 it would remain in a state q0 right so when it is in q0 after reading 1 it has to read the input symbol 0 after reading the input symbol 0 the output would be q0 and q1 all right now it has to read the input symbol 0 so as I told you earlier apply the 0 to 
both states. When you apply 0 to Q0, the output would be Q0, Q1. And when you apply 0 to Q1, the output would be null Z, which is denoted by Y. Null Z means a Z having no element. So take their union, the output would be Q0, Q1. Right? Now, in this case, the output set contains not any final state. There is no final state in this set. There is only one final state in this uh, NFA that is Q2. It doesn't contain any final state, right? So, the L string 100 would be rejected by this NFA. It would not be accepted by this NFA.